Oh shit, so it looks like we got some new information in regards to the uh, new seasonal effects, um, how it's going to end up impacting 9.1 and just a little bit more information in regards to that. We we had heard rumors that it may be revolving around like Torghast anima powers, but we really hadn't heard too much more aside from that. And now it looks like uh, anima powers end up affecting the Mythic Plus affixes coming into 9.1 in some form or fashion. Maybe that's one of the selections you have to make on the, the little power is something related to the anima or relating to the weekly affix. It's hard to really know for certain, but that seems like that may be what's actually going to happen. So basically, new anima powers have been found on the 9.1 PTR, which seem related to the upcoming domination seasonal fix for Season 2 of Shadowlands. These anima powers are very special as they allow you to turn the new power of the weekly Mythic Plus affixes onto enemies. And so that's really cool. And I'm actually super, super stoked for this. And I think this is actually a great way of doing like his curse style stuff because it seems like you have to kill a mob a couple of mobs and kind of done in a dungeon and then you have to like select powers that correspond with them um with those mobs and now we know a little bit more so not much is known about the season two affix yeah exactly not not much is known and it's not on the ptr yet uh, but the idea of that anima powers are involved has been contested. However, more evidence has been added to the 9.1 PTR, which now supports the idea that anima powers are involved as some new anima powers now relate to some of the current weekly mythic plus affixes such as necrotic and volcanic. Sick. Um, so here are some of the data mine powers. And this is the necrotic um, one. It's Athame, I actually don't know what that means, of necrotic wounding. Your harmful spells and abilities consume the target with a creeping decay, inflicting damage every two seconds and reducing the healing and absorption received by 2% for eight st seconds, stacking up to 10 times. This can be good. I think that this is actually something interesting that you maybe would be looking to take. Um, healing and absorption effects being reduced, that's kind of weird. Like, that doesn't really do too much. Uh, yeah, so 20%. 20 Healing and absorption reduced. Like, where exactly is that useful? I'm trying to think. Maybe there's a boss that, like, heals somewhat, and that would be useful in some way, but it's, like, hard to come up with something that's, like, wow, this is, like, actually super great for whenever XYZ happens, because most of the time heals in dungeons are, like, uh, pretty easily easy to avoid, and, like, you shouldn't be getting them. Maybe something like the dragon in Mists of Tirna Scythe, where that has that ground effect heal. But even then, like, you... I don't know. This isn't, like, that great. It is kind of cool. I wonder how useful it will end up being. Maybe it's good for tanks because it's, like, a flat damage value. Um, maybe it's good for healers because it's a flat damage value. It's really hard to say. The next one is the most interesting one. And the, the one that I... The reason that we're making a video today is because I saw this and I was like, holy fuck, this is so cool. Volcanic Plumage. Your damaging abilities have a chance to create a... Gout of flame beneath the target that erupts after two and a half seconds, dealing damp dealing fire damage to all enemies within the three yards and knocking them up. This is absolutely fucking massive. 15% proc chance, 10 second cooldown, knocking mobs up, f forcing them to like miss their cast, very similar to Earthquake-esque, where it like knocks mobs down and shit. This, I hope, is fucking so sick. This seems like that will be a really cool thing to be able to take. It also seems like it's going to do a decent amount of damage since it can hit all enemies within three yards. The downside, Z-axis shit, pretty cooked in a lot of dungeons. I hope it doesn't like bug out mobs, but if it doesn't, assuming it won't, this is great. This is actually an absolutely very cool uh, thing. And if you had to like pick a power that's related to the weekly affix, and you had this volcanic plumage one, this may be like a really contested pick. This thing may actually end up being one of your one of your best traits, assuming that... I don't know how the rest of them are going to face, but it depends on balance, of course. Like, if there's other options that are significantly more damage, you're never going to take that. But, yeah. Um, so, what else does this article say? Of course, there's a chance for these anima powers to be for Torghast, but I find it extremely unlikely due to the fact that these anima powers have essentially the same name and effects as pre-existing Mythic Plus fixes. I actually agree with that. that. That seems like a really logical connection to be making. Um, so, a couple of other speculation points. I expect these two anima powers to be at the start of... Um, oh, okay, interesting. I expect these two anima powers to be at the start of the anima power for every Mythic Plus fix. So, basically, it's going to be one of the first things that it allows you to pick as these seem super cool and allows the players to benefit them um, from the weekly affixes as well, similar to how enemies do. 
Imagine an anima power that would allow players to benefit from bolstering or inspiring auras, or to heal from the sanguine pools, or even deal damage and interrupt enemies by hitting them with quaking. We'll have to see what happens in the future PTR build. This is actually the most interesting point of the whole entire speculation post. Can you imagine a world where these anima powers that you're going to be getting from the seasonal fix do things such as you get a damage, you get like increased health and damage whenever um, mobs die nearby or something like that. Or you're, I don't know, what would, what would inspiring be? Hmm. It would be like you're immune to CC, but even then it's like not that great. But I think the Sanguine Pool one, that would actually be so epic. You you actually yourself get healed by the Sanguine Puddle as opposed to taking damage from it, something like that. That would be really cool. If you interrupt the mob or damage them whenever you hit them with quaking, that's so fucking sick to like... Okay, so you have to be really careful to not stack on your tank to kill him. But if that's just like a free interrupt that happens every 15, 30, 45 seconds... This is, or actually it's 2040, 60. Quaking is 2040, 60 inter, uh, intervals. Like every 20 seconds, if you could quake mobs and interrupt them and do damage to them for free, this actually makes quaking an even more appealing a fix if it's like going to give you free interrupts and free damage that you would otherwise be um, not gaining. It's actually great. Uh, let's read the rest of this post on Wowhead. A big question becomes that these anima powers are only in the pool or if these are the only anima powers in the pool, if they're going to be slowly showing up on weeks in the affix that is active. I think that it almost has to be the affix that's active. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I, yeah, he says, I lean towards the latter because some of these would be really difficult to come up with the anima powers that can relate on any week. And a rotating set of anima powers fits with some of the speculation that he made previously. I do think that Blizzard wants to, to return to a seasonal affix that changes things weekly and having a set of anima powers that rotate and directly relate to the current week of fixes does seem really cool. Does this mean that I expect some of the generic anima powers as well to round up? Uh, this does mean I expect there's to be some generic anima powers as well to round out the set of anima choices. So I think that, yeah, I, I do think that there may be some generic ones, whether that be class based, whether that be um, just fucking random generic ones. But on top of that, these weekly affix ones if these are going to end up actually being in the part of the rotation seem incredibly cool something i do worry about though is that it may okay so the reason that beguiling was so daunting and annoying is because it actually changed up your routing too much on a week by week basis and i do tend to worry about this being too impactful on a week by week basis but assuming that the tuning is pretty pretty close in line I'm actually really interested to see how all of this lines up, whether or not um, these powers are going to end up being like super impactful or whether or not you're going to be taking generics that are just kind of OP. What ends up happening, like if you don't kill the guys that drop the anima orbs, do you end up having to fight them with the final boss? Like what's going to be up with that? So there's a lot that's still unknown about this seasonal effects i'm excited to test it whenever it does hop onto the ptr that will be something that i'm going to be looking forward to but in the meantime a lot of cool stuff coming in from this seasonal fix and there's a lot of reasons that it's actually going to it's looking pretty promising i hope it turns out super well and i hope it's not rng again i think that's one of the biggest points is like if it's fucking rng it's gonna be miserable nobody's gonna want to play it but if it's very static um and like it does relate to the mythic plus seasonal fix and there's not also too if there's not one week that's just like grossly overpowered then that's also really nice i think that i think that those are the important things to take away is that like as long as it's not just off the walls bananas then um it would actually be great i want to hear some of your guys thoughts like what would be your most interesting fix like if you if you had to have one of these torgas powers because for me i think something like Sanguine pools heal you would be really cool. Raging, if you dip below 50% HP, maybe you gain 30% uh, damage for 20 seconds or something. Like <laughs> some shit where you actually get enraged. Something like that, bolstering. I want to hear in the comment section what you guys think would be the most interesting set of like affixes or affix buffs if these do actually end up becoming some of these anima powers. And yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. Uh, make sure if you guys want to read this article yourself, I will link it down in the description and that's going to be it. Hope you guys all have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys later.